the Eighth Doctor. Now, this one's a little tricky, because depending on how you look at it, this Doctor is either the shortest serving Doctor, or the shortest term, or he's the longest term, depending on how you want to look at it. Now, the Eighth Doctor was portrayed by actor Paul McGann, and this came at a particularly turbulent time in Doctor Who's history, because 1989 the show was cancelled, with the final story being Survival, which was the final story of Sylvester McCoy's era of the Doctor. After that, Doctor Who was cancelled, and it seemed to just fade in, fade out for a while. But in 1996, Fox, the American broadcasters, they managed to acquire Doctor Who, and they planned an American continuation of it. Okay, the show would still follow, all the rest of the years would still be canon, but it would now be mostly produced in America. They, to do this, they even brought back Sylvester McCoy back into the fold as the Doctor, had him at the start of the film in order to indicate, yeah, this is a con direct continuation. But he only actually had two... The Eighth Doctor has only actually had two appearances on screen. One being the TV movie in 1996, and a mini-episode in 2013 that sort of served as his regeneration story. Now, the Eighth Doctor is, of course, played by actor Paul McGann, and he first appeared in the Doctor Who TV movie, also known as Doctor Who the Movie, which first broadcast in the UK, at least, on the 27th of May, 1996. His Doctor... The while the Seventh Doctor was eventually gunned down in San Francisco, he was taken to a hospital where a doctor named Grace Holloway tried to figure out what was wrong with him, tried to help him out as best she could. Only because he had alien physiology that she didn't know about, she ended up only really making the situation worse, and he was declared dead later that night. This taking place a few years... Oh, this taking a few years in the future than when it's broadcast. It's broadcast in 1996, but it takes place around the term, turn of the millennium. So, after this, the Doctor eventually regenerates in the morgue into Paul McGann. And he spends the, most of the film trying to deal with an evil plan set forth by his arch-nemesis, the Master, who has managed to escape and was previously played by Gordon Tipple at the start of the film, and then is played throughout the rest of the film by Eric Roberts. He takes over the body of a paramedic and tries to gain the Doctor's regenerations. So the rest of the film is mainly him dealing with the Master and trying to figure out a way to stop him. Now, as I said, Paul McGann only actually had this one movie in his name. But, as I said, it's weird. You can cut... It's weird because... If you count all the years the Doctor was off the air, then technically Paul McGann is the longest serving Doctor, having served eight years in the role, compared compared to the next longest, which would have been Tom Baker's seven years. So it's quite still quite a long time to be the Doctor. I mean, it, it depends really on how you view things. Now, while he may not have been on screen for a long time, only for that one film... His next bit, he did, he has kind of redeemed himself in the last few years by doing a selection of Big Finish audio dramas, which are kind of show Doctor Who adventures that we didn't get to see on screen and kind of create new adventures for them to fight. And this is one area that apparently Paul McGann has really shone as the Doctor. While I personally can't speak for them as I haven't really listened to them, Apparently, people love Paul McGann's Big Finish stories and actually do consider them Doctor Who canon. And he's got over a hundred so far, and there are more in the works that come out in 2021 and 2022. So he's, he's got a lot more stories than people might think. Now, this Doctor eventually came to an end by the... In 2005, to explain the gap between 1996 and 2005, when the show was revived... Russell T. Davies created the Time War. It's basically an explanation as to what happened in the interim, explaining that the Daleks and the Time Lords had entered into a war and eventually the Doctor was the only known survivor. At least that's what we thought at the time. How does this tie into things? Well, 
they were in 2013 to coincide with Doctor Who's 50th anniversary. They released a short called The Night of the Doctor. You can probably go and view it on YouTube, it is probably still up there. It debuted on the 4th of November 2013. Now, in this short, the Doctor is trying to save the pilot of a crashing ship. This is during the Time War, and he's trying to help a crashing ship pilot named Cass. But once she hears that his spaceship is bigger on the inside, seeing this police box, she realises he must be a Time Lord. And she seemingly wants nothing more to do with him after that. Ship crashes, and both of them are seemingly killed. And of course, the Doctor is only seemingly badly injured, but Cass is killed. And it turns out they've landed on the planet Khan. A planet which was previously seen in the Doctor Who story, The Brain of Morbius. And the Sisterhood of Khan, they have kind of potions and spells and the like, and they have managed to get regeneration down to a fine art. I mean, while, while with most regenerations, it's usually a random process as to what you're going to end up with, they managed to get down precise. And after telling the Doctor that Cass is dead, and that he'll be dead in a few minutes if he doesn't do something quickly, they give him a choice. They basically say, we can give you a choice of whatever you need to be. I mean, young, old, fighter, you know, dark. You can, we have it here. We can give you what you need. At this point, he seems to admit to himself, I guess there's not much need for a doctor anymore. Can you make me a warrior? To which they give him the potion. And after telling them to get out, he mentions, will it hurt? Yes. Good. At which point he drinks the potion and seemingly begins a regeneration into a warrior. And thus ends the period of the Eighth Doctor. He wouldn't regenerate into the Doctor at all. Into a man who would eventually become the Doctor again but for the majority of the Time War, didn't refer to himself as the Doctor. He was a man with no name. Simply known as a warrior. But, from the eight years that he had, and the one, one film and one mini-episode, the Eighth Doctor is definitely not something to be sniffed at. I mean, as I said with the movie, when, when I reviewed the movie, it... For what it's got, Doctor Who in the 1990s, kind of what I expected it to turn out like. But I do think that the time of the doc, the night of the Doctor short does, it finally gives us what we've been waiting for. We didn't see Paul McGann's regeneration for years, and I think it, they did a good job with it. Now, if you really want to feel of what the Eighth Doctor is truly like, you're best going to the Big Finish audio stories. But that's my quick breakdown of the Eighth Doctor. Anyway... Next up, the War Doctor. I'll get around to that and I'll let you know. Alright, until then, see ya.